Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll continue. Now we'll do these final exams questions related to chapter four, which comes in the exams for month no, two or two. We don't have month two zero eight from these terms two one one to two three one. OK, let me do them one by one. The vector W, by the way, I'm starting from the term two one one, by the way. OK, the vector W is the linear combination of these vectors, so it means W. Is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus C3 V3. OK, you want to find us the C's and just we sum them, find the C's. So I have 2 1 0 equals C1 times V1 plus C2 times V2 plus C3 times V3. That's it. So I have three equations, three unknowns, solve them. That's it. So I have a two. Let me write the equations. Oh, first one is easy. C1 equals two. Second one, two C1 plus C2 plus C3 equals one. The last one, C1 plus C2 plus two C3 equals zero. Done. C, C1 equals two. So so this equation will be what? I have four. So C2 plus C3 equals what? Four, take it to the other side. That is minus three. Here I have C1 equal two, take it to the other side. So I have C2 plus two C3 equals minus two. Subtract these two. So I have C2 minus C2 gone. C3 minus two, two C3, that will be minus C3. Minus three minus minus two, that is minus one. So C three equals one. Okay, I need to find now. Uh, uh, yeah, this is C three. Yes, I need to find C one, C two. I mean, so C two plus one equal minus three. So C two C two equal minus four. So I have this. I have this. I have this. Add them. What you will get. Mm. Yeah, two minus four plus one minus one. This is the answer. The rank of the matrix is two. He told us the matrix, the rank of this matrix is two. He wants us to find this M. What I will do, I'll do the same procedure. Why not one, two, one, three minus. Yeah, one, th two, four minus one minus three, five, three, two, six, five. Nine, yeah. I'll try to solve it like if I am finding the the, um, the rank. So what I will do? Let me state the calculation. Multiply the first one by R one by one and add it to the second one. So this will be zero. This is minus two R one plus R three minus three R one plus R four. Okay, define the uh, echelon form. Okay, so that will be what. This is okay. Now multiply by one and add that will be zero. By one and add that will be zero. By one and add that will be seven. By one and add that will be seven. Now multiply by minus two and add that will be zero. Minus six and plus six that will be zero. Minus four plus five that is one. Minus eight plus nine that is one. OK, last one, multiply by minus three and add, that will be zero. By minus three and add, that will be zero. By minus three and add, that will be zero. By minus three and add, that will be M minus 12. OK, now I can multiply the second row by one over seven to make it easier. One, three, two, four, zero. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
It means after this is now now it's an echelon form. So after I do the echelon form, I I the the number of non-zero rows should equal to two since the rank is two after echelon four. So this is non-zero row. This is non-zero row. So this must be a non-zero row. When that will be a non-zero row means I need m minus twelve to be zero. So that will be a non-zero row. Uh, it will be a zero row, yeah, because I need two. This is one, this is two. So I want this to be a zero row. This is already a zero row. So I want the, the last one to be a zero row. So that means M should be 12. And that is my answer. Okay, the three vectors, the not form a basis, F what? When they don't form a basis, they have three vectors in R3. Yeah. So to check they are bases or not, I need to check they are linear independent or not. So they don't form a basis if they are not linear independent. I, that means they are linear dependent. And that means the determinant should equal to zero. Since I have three vectors in R3, so I have 0, 3, 0, A, 2, 1, B, 1, 3. I want that, this determinant to be 0. So I'll do the expansion of this determinant by the first column. So I have minus 3. Hmm? I have plus minus. Cancel this with this. I have A, B, 1, 3. So I have minus 3, 3A three minus B. And they want this to be zero, so that means b equal three a. So if b equal three a. These three vectors <coughs> are linear dependent, so they don't form a basis for R three. Okay, a basis for the solution is base. Yeah, I think we did something like that. Actually, this is can be four point two or also four point four. Four point two. We don't mention the basis, but we are doing it. So let me do the calculation. My one minus two, three, two minus three, minus four. Yeah, I want to rewrite it now as an initial form. So that will be what? Multiply minus two R one plus R two. That gives me what? One minus two, three, this is zero. Hmm? Minus two and add, that is zero. Minus two and add, that is one. Minus two and add, minus six. Minus six, minus four, minus ten. Is it? Yeah. And this is zero. Okay. So now it's in the issue room form. So I have what I have the equations becomes what? X one. Um. Yeah. Or before that, let me do the procedure. I have these are leading variables. So how many free variables they have? This is x1, this is x2, this is x3. So leading variables, let me do it in details. Leading variables, x1, x2. Free variables, x3. Okay. So I let x3 equal t. Do the calculation now. From here, I have the equations x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 equals 0, and they have x2 minus 10x3 equals 0. I need to write everything in terms of x3, so I'm getting from here that x2, 10x3, which is 10t. Okay, from here, x1 will be what? 2x2 minus 3x3, and x2 is, is what? Uh, 10t, so that 20t minus 3t, that is 17t. Okay, so my vector x1, x2, x3 is what? 17t, x2 is what? 10t, and t. Take t common factor, we have 17, 10, 1. So this is the basis. So the basis is only this vector. Since you have only one 
1 1 free bearing okay so i'm getting only one one vector as a basis that will be the answer okay the vectors are linear independent this one we have true of course okay a linear independent. what i will do they have three vectors in r3 three vectors in r3 i check their determinant u v w if it is equal to zero they are, li they are linearly dependent if it's not equal to zero they are linearly independent so check the determinant one two three four five six oh, what a nice one seven eight nine now i will multiply the first row by minus two and add that will be zero minus two and add that is one minus two and add minus 14 plus eight yeah, minus 14 plus 8. That is what? Minus 6. Okay, minus 3 and add, that will be 0. Minus 3 and add, that will be what? Minus 12 plus 6, minus 6. Minus 3 and add, minus 21 plus 9, that is 14. Okay. Yeah. This is one four seven. Multiply by minus two and add my mm, yeah, sorry. This is minus three. Sorry. Minus two. Multiply by minus two and add minus two. This is minus two, minus this is minus six. Multiply by minus three and add. This is minus six. Minus three and add. This is will be 12. Sorry. Calculation, yeah, you need to be careful. Now I will, I will divide by minus one over three. I have one, four, seven, zero, one. This is what? By minus, and that would be two. This is minus 12, sorry. Let me do it again. Minus two and add that will be zero. Minus two minus eight plus five minus three. Minus fourteen plus eight minus six. Good. Minus three plus three zero. Minus twelve plus six minus six. Minus twenty one plus nine minus twelve. That will be minus twelve. Hot. Now we divide by three. That will be one two. Great. Now multiply the second row by six and add it to the third row. You'll get what? One seven. 0, 1, 2. This is 0. Multiply by 6 by six and add. That will be 0. By 6 and add, that will be 0. So this term is equal what? 0. So the vectors u, v, w are linear dependent, not independent. So this is false. The statement is false. OK, let this be a subspace. If R4, if R4, so I have four elements. A, B, C, D, okay. Defined by this, you want the basis, okay. So I want to write this in this format. So I have A, B, C, D. What is A? It's B plus C plus D, B, C, D. Um, I can take B as a common factor, or or let me think of it. Yeah, before that, just, just to show you what, what I, I'm heading towards what. I have how many free variables? I have three free variables. Three free variables. If there are three free variables, so I have what? I have what? Three free variables, which is B, C, and D. These are the three free variables. What I mean by three free variables means I can't put B, C, D, any value. I like and that then a depends on those and and, and these three free variables. OK, so I need to write the, the element in this format. So I have B plus C. Plus D, this is B, C, D. Take B common factor. What you have? One, one, zero, zero. Take C common factor. You have one, zero. 1, 0, take D common factor. You have 1, 0, 0, 1. So these will be my bases. 
So the bases. Since I, I can write this any element in, in R4 in terms of these three vectors and they are linear independent. So the bases are 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And that will be my basis. And that will be my basis. OK. Now, I move to the next question. Which of the following sets forms a base, a subspace of R3? Of R3. Okay. I know this is the answer, so I'll do it backward. This one, how to say R form a subspace? I need these two conditions. If I take any two vectors, add them, they should be in the in the sub in the set. Constant times any of these vectors should be in the subspace. Okay. Let me show this is don't form subspace. Yeah, to show that, I need an example. Okay, let me take U1, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, and take U2, 0, 1, 0. Okay. This is belongs to the to this set. Since x1 times x2 give me x3. And also this one belongs to this set. But this is E. U1 plus U2 will be what? 1, 1, 0. This is, does not belong to the set. Let me call this, yeah, call this W1. W2, W3, W4, W5. Now W5, this does not belong to the W5. This is belongs to W5. This belongs to W5. This X1 times X2 does not give me X3. So this is not a subspace. This one. Take, take what? Yeah, D. I take U1 as what? Yeah. The same thing, the same vectors, huh? The same U1, U2. Yeah, that's what the nice things. U1 belongs to W4. Add them, give you zero. U2 belongs to W4. Add them, you get one. Yes. So, but U1 plus U2, <laughs> it's the same example. 1, 1, 0, this is, does not belong to the value of 4. So this is not subspace. <coughs> this one. You know what? The same idea. Let me say, not, not the same vector, but the same idea. Let me say C here. Let U1 will be 1, 0, 0. U2 make it 0, 0, 1. And add them. This is belongs to W3. Huh? But U1 plus U2, that will be 1, 0, 1. This does not belong to the W3. Because if we add them, you get 2. You're not getting 1. So this is not subspace. X2 equal 1. Is that always subspace? No. Yeah, take for example U1 B. U1 equal what? Uh, 0, 1, 0. And take U2, the same thing. This belongs to the value 2, but there are some, or times any constant, except one, they, they are not belonging to the, the value 2. Very clear. This one, you need to notice something first. I have x1 squared plus x2 squared equals 0. Then that means what? When this is will be correct, if x1 equal x2 equals 0. So my vector, my, my set, w1, is what? 0, 0, and I have x3. This is will be my set, w1. OK, take any vector, 
Yeah, you add it for sure. The sum I leave it for you. It belongs to the the value one. Yeah, because x3 can be x3, any 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 value. You add them still there as an, any value. And then multiplying by a constant also belongs to the value one. I think you can see it easily. Since this is my W1, so this is true. Or you can show it by, by more details. Let the solution space of this has the following vectors as a basis. So I need to do what I did here. The same one. OK, so I will do this. 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 7. 2 minus 1, 1, 7. 1, 2, 3. OK, that will be what I, I need zero zero. That will not be affected, so I will leave it. Multiply minus two and add, be careful now, zero. By minus two and add, that will be seven. By minus two and add, that will be seven also. By minus two and add, that will be 21. By minus one and add, that will be zero. By minus one and add, that will be six. By minus one and add, that will be another six. By minus one and add, that will be 18. So divide by one of, by multiply by divide by seven, the second row. That will be zero, one, one, three. This is as is. Now multiply the second row by minus six and add it to the third row for sure. I'm getting zero, zero, zero. Okay. So, so I have these are the leading variables. I have x1, x2, and then x3, x4. So leading variables are what? x1, x2. What I care about is the free variables. Free variables x3 and x4. So I let x3 to be equal to T and X4 is equal to S. So what I have, I have, yeah, let me write the equations, X1 minus 4 X2 minus 3 X3 minus 7 X4 equals zero. It's first equation, I care now about the second one, X2 plus X3 plus 3 X4 equals zero. So I have what? X2 equal minus X3 minus 3 X4 which is minus T minus 3S. OK, is it? Yeah, take it to the other side. Now we'll do X1. So X1 will be 4X2 plus 3X3 plus 7X4. And that equal what? 4X3, that will be minus 4T minus 12S. OK. 3 minus times 4 plus 3 T plus 7 S. That what? Minus T minus 5 S. OK, so my vector. X1, X2, X3, X4. That will be equal to what? Oops. That will be equal to X1 is what? Minus T minus 5S is 2 minus T, X2 I mean, minus 3S, X3, T, X4, S. Now take T cone factor, you have minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0 which is this one, good, plus S times what? Minus 5, minus 3, 0, 1, which is this one. So, so this is, these are the bases. So this is U and this is V. So I have A equal minus 5, be careful, and B minus 3. So it will be B minus A minus three plus five, which is two. So this is my answer. Yeah. Okay. 
the take will this. Try to write it as a linear combination. Find A, A, B, C and just add them. OK, so I have the vector for 2023. C1, let's see what A, we call it A. A, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2. This is plus B, 2, 8, 7, plus C, 1, 7, 9. OK, so I need to solve the system which is, this is the matrix huh? times ABC. So we have A plus 2B plus C equal 4, and 3A plus 8B plus 7C equal 20, 2A plus 7B plus 9C equal 23. And to solve this system, let me solve it by Gauss elimination. I have one, two, one. This is four. I'm doing it in details. Huh? Eight, seven, twenty, two, seven, nine, twenty-three. Okay. Multiply. This is minus three R one plus R two minus two R one plus R three. See what will happen. I have one, two, one. This is four. Minus three and add. That is zero. Minus three and add. That is two. Minus three and add. That is four minus three and add that is eight minus two and add that will be zero minus two and add that will be three minus two and add that will be seven minus two and add that will be 15 15 plus 8 23 great so i divide now by two and this one to get what 0, 1, 2, 4. Now multiply 0, 1, 2, 4. Multiply by minus 3 and add. Minus 3, R2, add it to R3. Minus 3 and add, that will be 0. Minus 3 and add, that will be 1. Nice. Minus 3 and add, that will be 3. So, very clear, from here I have C equal to 3, plug it here, where I have B equal 4 minus 2C, which is 4 minus 6, which is minus 2, plug them here, so I have A equals what? Equals, let me do it A here, A will be 4 minus 2B minus C, which is 4. B is what? Plus 4 minus 3, and that will be 5. So A plus B plus V plus C equal 5 minus 2 plus 3, 8 minus 2, which is 6. So this is my answer. Okay. If the rank is equal to 2, find K. We did something similar. Let me do it quickly. One, one, one. This is k. Multiply by minus and add zero. By minus one and add that is one. Minus one and add that is one. Minus one and add that will be one minus k. By minus one and add that will be zero. By minus one and add that will be zero. Oh, uh, that will be one. By minus one and add that will be k minus one. Okay. By minus by minus one and add that will be t. Okay. Now second row by minus two and add it to R three to get what? One 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 k. Okay. I have zero one 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 minus k. This is zero until I minus one add that is zero. By minus one and add, that will be k minus two. By minus one and add, that will be k minus one. By minus one and add. Wait a minute. Sorry. Look. One 
minus one and add zero, minus one and add one, minus one and add one, minus one and add one minus k. Okay, minus one and add zero, minus one and add one, minus one and add, it will be k minus one. Correct. Minus one. This is not not zero. Minus one and add, it will be one minus k again. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Let me do the correct. Now, minus R2, that will be 0. Minus 1 and add, that will be K minus 2. Minus 1 and add, that will be 0. Minus 1, that will be 0. So, he's. Now, now it's ready, huh? Now it's issue number 4. He wanted the rank equal to. So, the number of none. Zero rows is two. So this is non zero row. This is non zero row. So this must be zero. So implies no k minus two must be zero. So I have only two non zero rows. So k equal to, but some you need to be careful about the calculation like what we did here. So the answer is two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If A is 10 by 15 matrix, if the rank of A is 7, the dimension of the solution is space, which is the null space. We know that the number of columns is equal to the rank of the matrix, the dimension of the null space of A. So the number of columns is 15, Rank of A is 7, and this is what I'm looking for, plus X. So X will be what? 15 minus 7, which is 8. I have this here. The number of columns equal the rank of A plus the dimension of the null space, which is the dimension of the solution space of this system. The word they call it the null space. The dimension of this, this subspace, very clear. I have X1 will be what? X2 plus x3 plus 2x4 minus 3x5. How many free variables we have? Four. That would be the dimension. I can't find it, but it's not dimension equal to four. No need to do that. I have three, three, four free variables. x2, x3, x4 can be any value. x1 depends on that. So I have only three, four, three, four free variables. Okay. Yeah. Let me do this quickly. Calculation. T equal this. So I have 2 minus 7, 9 equal A. I write the vector as, yeah, as a row or as a column. It's the same thing. Let me write it as a row just to show you it's the same idea. That will be A 1 minus 2, 2 plus B. 301. So what we have? We have A plus 3B plus C and minus 2A minus C. Okay. B is 0. Huh? B times 0. And then I have what? 2A plus B plus 2C. That should equal to 2 minus 7 and 9. So I have the system. A plus 3B plus C equal 2 minus 2a minus c equal uh, minus 7 and 2a plus b plus 2c equal 9. Yeah, I can do it with the Gauss elimination or do it anyway. You have three equations, three unknowns. Find it the way you like. Yeah, let me do Gauss elimination. See what will happen. 2, 1, 2, 9. These are the vectors. Yeah, 1 minus 2, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 2. This is the T, 2 minus 7. Okay, so multiply by, let me do it right away. I think it's very clear. 1, 3, 1, this is 2. Multiply by 2 and add, that is 0. That is 6. 2 and add, that is 1. 2 and add, minus 3. Okay. Minus 2 and add, that is 0. Minus 2 and add, 
that is minus 5, minus 2 and add, that is 0, minus 2 and add, minus 2 and add, that is 5. Yeah, no need to go more because I have from this one, that's minus 5, b equal 5, for b equal minus 1. Plug it here to get the c. So I have 6b plus c equal minus 3. So I have c equal minus 3, minus 6, so it's plus 6, that will be 3. So c equal 3. Okay, then plug this, all of these, plug it there to find A. So I have A is 2 minus 3B minus C. That is 2. What is B? B is, so this is 2 plus 3 minus 3. Then this is 2. So what I need, I need A square plus B square plus C square. A is 2, so this is 4. B square plus 1 plus three square, which is nine. So it's 14. So this is my answer. Yeah. The rank of this matrix, so I need to write it in initial four. Uh, let me do it quickly. Multiply by one and add zero. By one and add one. By one and add one. By one and add two. By minus two and add zero by minus two and add seven by minus two and add seven by minus two and add ten plus four fourteen by minus two and add zero minus two and add six minus two four by minus two and add four by minus two ten minus two eight now divide by no need to divide anything. 1 minus 3, 0 minus 5. This is 0, 1, 1, 2. So I multiply the second row by minus 7 and add. That will be 0, 0, 0, 0. Multiply the second row by minus 4 and add it to the fourth row. I have 0, 0, 0, 0. That's it. So these are the number of non-zero rows. Because this is now echelon four, is two. So the rank is two, or the number of leading variables. So yeah. Okay. So the number of net zeros, I think, is very clear. That will be two. A basis for this space. Yeah. I have x equal what two y minus five z. Where I can now I have two free two free variables. Very clear. So I can write y equal t z equal s, or I can do it right away. I say x y z, it will be what two y minus five z, y and z. Take y as a common factor. You have two one zero. Take z as a common factor. You have minus five zero one. So these are my bases. This is v one. This is V2, where the bases are V1, V2, which is 210 minus 50. So this is my answer. Yeah, I think this is good. Now we finish chapter four, where I collect questions from the old exams related to this, to this chapter four. Let me stop the recording, then I will go to chapter five. Thank you.